All right, so this is clearly going to be a different video than what I am usually doing, if you can't just tell by the setting of the video, but I've very transparently been on a decent hot streak with getting videos out lately, and this week I'm not sure that I'm gonna have anything prepared by Saturday, so here we are. I've been seeing a lot of videos put out on YouTube lately that are related to this idea of really just starting out on YouTube and different ways that you can have yourself keep putting videos out. And as someone that did this at some point with podcasting, I know maybe a couple of tricks about really getting yourself to just keep putting out content. But the bottom line is that if you are trying to be consistent with any sort of content, whether it be Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, whatever the case may be, whether you're creating videos or blog posts, this, that, and the other, the real key key, so to speak, to putting out a whole bunch of content is putting out a whole bunch of content. And sure, it's really easy to get wrapped up in the lighting is incorrect or I hate this topic, which is probably the most reasonable excuse to actually use is knowing that you don't have good topics that you're coming out with. But there is this bar that you need to set for yourself where you just say, I'm going to put out this many videos in this amount of time. So I'm going to put out one video every week. I'm going to put out one video every day. I'm going to put out two videos every month. I'm going to put out 26 videos in the year of 2023 or whatever year it happens to be. And that will really help you, especially once you actually get the ball rolling on the thing and doing the thing that you say you're going to do. That's the second thing that can get you to stay really consistent is to actually just get to the point where you're five weeks or five days into it if you're doing daily. There becomes this point where you get more and more, the further down the line you get with being consistent with your content, the more possessive you get of that hot streak that you have, the more possessive you get of that, or your brain just starts to go like, listen, dude, you've been doing this for 10 weeks straight. Don't let the 11th week be the one where you lose the thing. It's really easy to lose after, you know, you've been doing it for three weeks, you've been doing it for four weeks. It's like, eh, whatever. But you kind of have more to lose when you actually get yourself to stick to it for a while. And this is why for some people, when you see 30 day content challenges or 90 day content challenges, they work because it gets you to actually do it for that amount of time. This is also why I'm personally a big fan of daily, even though I wouldn't do daily on YouTube. When it comes to flexing those creative muscles that you have for doing whatever type of content it is that you're doing, I like that. I like the idea of daily because it's just, it's easy to do it for like five days straight. It's easy to stay motivated for that long. And then when you do it for five days straight, you get up on the sixth day, you're like, I've been doing this for five days straight. If today's thing sucks, it won't suck as much as the past five days have. And I'll just cut this one out as a loss. It's kind of what I'm doing with this video right now, honestly, is I know that this isn't going to perform as well as maybe a drone related video. Those tend to do pretty well on my channel and a couple of tutorials have done really well on my channel, but it's still important that I get the content out there, not just for the YouTube algorithm or for whatever other reason like that, but just for the sake of, again, flexing your muscles and actually showing that you care enough to keep creating videos. It makes a difference when someone comes to your channel and sees like, you know what? I'm not interested in that video. I'm not interested in that video. I'm not interested in that video, but I'm glad to know that this creator shows up. I'm glad to know that this creator puts in the effort and I'm glad to know that this creator actually keeps putting out videos. I'm glad that every time I come to this channel, they have a new video that has been put up within the past week. What happens otherwise is that first of all, you don't gain the subscribers, the followers, the viewers, the listeners, whatever it is that you're after. If you're constantly in limbo from your content, if you're constantly just like, oh, the last time they posted was a year ago. The last time they posted was two months ago. The last time they posted was three months ago. Nobody likes that. I don't follow creators online that do that type of thing. But even if they only put out, this might not be the right thing to say, but even if they only put out one good video like every two months, as long as there's stuff in between, people care that you try to show up and people care that you care about actually making your content. And it's very obvious for a lot of people when they see content creators creators out there that are just going for views, that are just going for those vanity metrics of I want followers, I want viewers, this, that, and the other. So please, for the love of God, if nothing else, just love your content. Be grateful for the opportunity to post it every single day. Realize that you get to post content on YouTube. You don't have to post content on YouTube or anywhere. And take advantage of it in the ways that you can, but take advantage of the opportunity that is there because of it. Don't try to just take advantage of the platform because that really, at the end of the day, I have never seen that work. I've never seen a creator 
Okay. Well, that's not entirely true either, actually. I guess if I really sat down and thought about it, there would be a lot of instances of people that I've seen just get a lot of views because that's all they're trying to do is get a lot of views. But I can tell you from firsthand experience that that is not worth it. It's much more fulfilling. It's much, it's much nicer to have a sustainable content system, a sustainable content strategy, if you want to call it that, and watch it grow than it is to just see a lot of hits at once and then realize like, oh, I did the thing. I got a bazillion views on a video, but I don't have a video to follow it up with. That's my message for today. That's my monologue for today. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I have nothing left to tell you. Subscribe to the channel if you want to, and I'll be back hopefully by next Saturday. By the way, to the 300-ish of you that are already subscribed at the time of me recording this video, I want to say that I am, in fact, very thankful for you, and I'm very thankful for the ones of you that are watching this video. This journey has been kind of a tough one for me, I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I'm not super happy with the results that I've been able to get on YouTube, but at the same time, I'm super thankful for the results that I have been able to get, so just know that I really do care. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate the comments on a lot of my videos, particularly. I try to get back to them as fast as possible. Even the criticizing ones, uh, don't be a hater, but I do try to take everything into consideration that I think is worth taking into consideration. You guys have helped me grow as a creator, and it does make a difference when you show up for me. So in the spirit of today being Thanksgiving, just as well as I'm recording this, thank you. Thank you.